Hi there, my name is Barbara Fernandez. I'm a speech language pathologist and today I want to talk to you about a way that you as a parent can work with your child that has childhood apraxia of speech. If you have a child with apraxia, with speech apraxia, you know the challenges of getting them to pronounce sounds correctly. Um, if you are not aware or if you're not sure if your child has childhood apraxia of speech, first make sure that you take your child to be properly evaluated by speech language pathologist. But this video is today for parents that already have a diagnosis, that you already know your child has apraxia of speech. And you want to be able to also work with your child at home. I want to talk to you um, about an iPad app that is called the Prexiville that it was designed to be used by parents and also by speech therapists in working with your child with children that have a praxia of speech. I know the challenges. I'm a mother myself, a mother of two, and I know the challenges in finding materials at times to work with your child at home. The iPad is super accessible. The App Store has hundreds of thousands of apps available, but I know how hard it is for you to find the app that you think are could be beneficial to your child. And today, I'm going to get my iPad and I'm going to show you a Praxiville. I'm going to show you how to use the app. It's super fun and it really will give you a way to help your child at home and visualize progress. If you um, are not sure on which specific sounds or a group of sounds your therapist is currently working on, I highly recommend that you reach out to your therapist. She'll be more than happy to have you as a partner in helping your child progress throughout learning their sounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up Apraxiville. I'm gonna open Apraxiville just as a fresh app so you can take a look at what it looks like. Welcome back to Apraxia. So this is Apraxia. Tap on select player to start. The fun thing with Apraxiaville is the app actually has step by step direct step by step direction on um, how you can actually use the app. So you don't have to necessarily be familiar with the app itself to learn how to use it. I am going to go and click on Tap select player. New player to add a new player. I'm going to turn off your instructions because I'm here giving you instructions. So I'm going to go ahead and add my child here. can select an avatar. My son has always a ton of fun selecting the avatar to be uh, associated with his profile. I'm going to make pick something fun here. Then I'm going to enter his name. His name is Victor. And I'm going to go ahead and tap done. Now that I have created a profile for my child, I'm going to go ahead and select my child and tap next. The app has three activities or three sections. The first section is when they're learning to produce the sound in isolation. So I'm going to tap here the sound window. It's also actually meant to be used as an accessory to when they're working at the word level. But first I want to show you guys this. So if I tap here on these two windows, you have a consonant window and then you have a vowels window, a boy and a girl. If we tap here on the boy, uh. I'm going to zoom it in and I'm going to tap again. Uh. He actually is giving a animation on how to do the B uh sound. Uh. Then if I tap on that button, I can actually change the sound to something different like the mmm sound. Mmm. Mm. It gives them a visual on how to produce the sound. Now one each thing is when I have the consonant window, I can actually tap on the image on the other one and I have the camera. You're actually seeing the recording of my recording. Um, but if I look directly on the camera of the iPad, if I face the iPad towards me, then I get to do buh and then Mm, in this case was mmm and then mmm get the child to see themselves producing the sound in isolation. We don't have to get a mirror. The iPad has cameras and we all love to take advantage of that camera that is built in on the device. 
I can do the same thing now for vowels. Children with apraxia also have difficulty not only with consonants, but also with vowels. So I can go ahead here and change the vowel. E. I can pick a different vowel. O. And the child can actually use the window on the other end to pronounce the different vowels within the English language. Now I'm gonna move on to a different section, but we're always gonna be able to get back onto the sound window section, which is that section is called. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the farmhouse. Now before we continue and get started on the practice of the farmhouse, um, the way that us speech therapists work with children that have a practice of speech in producing certain sounds is we group them and we start with different syllable structures. The easier ones like words that have a, a consonant, a vowel, or a vowel and a consonant. So this it would be the syllable structure level one. So if you're just starting to select that syllable structure, the easy ones, and then we can pick a group of consonants or a group of vowels. This is very important for kids that have a practice of speech. I'm gonna first show you the easy ones with a group of bilabial sounds, which is what we call, which is what we call the P, B, and M. And then we're gonna tap next. They. Now what you get is access. A, A, M, B, B, I, P, A, B, O, to a variety of words that have these sounds, B, P, M, in the beginning in, in this syllable structure for CV or VC or vowel consonant, what we call VC, or CV, consonant vowel. Boo. Boo. And so what I do is I get the child to say, okay, let's try to say boo. And the app here gives you access to a voice recording. So when I tap it, now it's recording, then I can act, actually get the child to listen to how they did it, play back and compare. Great for feedback, auditory feedback. And we also have a way to get visual feedback. If we tap here again, we go back to the camera and give them visual feedback. Once I tap done, I can go back and resume the window that I was at. Now at the top, you see three buttons, incorrect, red, almost, or correct. And you see here, my child's name, Victor, and his avatar or his photo, if I had chosen to do a photo, would be there. And this allows me to track how they produced that word. So if they did it, if they said boo correctly, or I mark the green. If they said ooh, I mark the red. So this, over time, will give me an information how they are progressing towards producing that specific sound. At the end, you're gonna have a report which you can share with your speech therapist. She will be delighted to have you not only as a partner, but also be getting information on how your child is doing at home. Apraxia of speech requires a lot of intensive therapy. You as a parent, you're with your child 24 hours a day. Not 24 hours a day, because they actually go to speech therapy sometimes, or they're going to school. This is also an opportunity if your child is receiving speech therapy at home, um, receiving speech therapy uh, in the school in the summer, comes up and now your child has no way to get therapy. This is a great tool for you to be at home working with your child during the summer break. So I want to show you Popeye. all of these. So if I terminate the session, I get to the reports and prizes. I tap on my child and I can actually see that we practiced for three minutes and we only had one participant. It shows the sounds we worked on and it shows the accuracy. So the accuracy overall was 80%. That was just for fun. Then we can see here the different vowels and the different syllable structures and how my child is doing with a variety of different syllable structures. I can share this via email with my therapist. I can also print it at home and I can send it with uh, on my child's backpack so that the therapist can actually have an idea of how my child is doing on their practice. Now I want to show you the next level. So as we're working with apraxia of speech, uh, first we work at getting them to produce a sound one word at a time. As they master that um, skill, 
we try to get them to the next level, which is combining words, saying several words at the same time. And the app, this app does allow us to do this with a lot of flexibility, um, modifying uh, specific sounds in sets of twos or sets of threes. And let me show you. I'm gonna go ahead and tap select. I'm gonna select my child again. Then I'm gonna tap on the third activity, which is the words farm. I can do two or three words at a time. I'm gonna do three, just so you guys can take a look at what it looks like. So if, I, if you can see here, I have the word pay, pay, pay. If I tap on play, pay, 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 then you will notice that it's the same word three times. Sometimes your child will have difficulty with pay, 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 one after the other. Once they master that, we can do pay, pie, pay, pay, pie, pay, which is changing a little bit the vowels, but still keeping that sound P. So we're making it a little harder. I can do pay, up, pie. So I'm swiping individual words up and down to give them slight variation. So we're changing the difficulty very slightly so we don't get the child overwhelmed and they can make progress very slowly but surely. Now, you see here, this is, I had selected the sound P for the syllable structure consonant vowel. I'm gonna tap on P, I'm gonna change it to B. Still maintaining my bilabials, but but I can actually switch the words from P, B, and M. So the set of words that I'm getting, they, ape, my, are slightly different. So this way, you know, when you think of normal speech, we speak a lot of different sounds within a sentence. This way we are able to target and give these children that have so much difficulty pronouncing the sounds, slight variations in when putting words together. And our goal is eventually we'll be able to vary to the, increase the variation. So have bilabials, have fricatives, have different kinds of sounds within that structure. So that eventually when they're actually producing a phrase, they will be able to do it without having to think too much on what they are doing. Uh, Praxia Phil is available in the App Store. It's only compatible with the iPad. And, but, you know, these days, uh, children have access to, uh, to the iPads. And at times, you know, if you're working, if it's an older child, they can work independently. Even though the app was designed for you to have a time with your child, the two of you working together in making progress towards their speech. I know that at times it's hard to find time and in the day that it's so busy to sit down with your kid and but this is gives you that tool working five minutes a day increasing 10 minutes a day it's you know it adds up and it ends up being a lot more time than the 30 minutes or hour a week that your child is getting with the therapist um, this is a lot more focused. It will give you a lot more um, understanding on working with your child. It will take away some of this pressure of you correcting them everywhere, correcting them at all times throughout the day, but having that focused time to work with them on their speech. My name is Barbara Fernandez. Again, I'm a speech language pathologist. I'm the creator of Apraxaville. If you ever have any questions, if you want to subscribe to my channel, my, my blog is www.geekslp.com. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and I wish you the best of luck to you and your child. I'm sure that as with a mom and dad that are taking the time to watch this video, your child will be really successful in their speech. Have a great day.